Engineering education traditionally has been one where you have a lot of theory and no practice. That really intimidates a lot of our young kids out there when they start thinking about a career in engineering. The mission of the Health College of Engineering really is to go out there and take people who would not really ordinarily be engineers and make them engineers. We want to take all those young people and make them workable labor that not just will go out into the labor force but make meaningful wages. So changing the social mobility and that's what our mission is. Our college has that, that kind of global to local impact. Some of the, the work done in biomaterials uh, with the medical, pharmaceuticals, and computer engineering, AI, environmental work, that's far reaching. It is really nice that the work that we do, uh, let's say in water, is directly used by the utility. So quickly that students actually get to see the product of their research be utilized in decision making and actual operations. But when you bring it back locally, you know, looking at workforce development and creating the opportunity for jobs for students that may stay here or may go elsewhere, but, but it's impacting the students right now, right here in Memphis to help them be more marketable and find that job that they need. So in many K-12 school districts, experiential learning and dual enrollment are really additive programs. For us at university schools, they are core, critical, mission-bound elements of the type of instructional model that we deploy. Every student gets exposure to experiential learning, whether in our STEM-designated elementary school, our project-based learning STEAM-designated middle school, or our college preparatory high school, where every student will have the opportunity to earn up to 36 hours of dual enrollment credit at the University of Memphis before they graduate. Our partnership with the Herf College of Engineering is remarkable. It allows students to begin to develop an engineering identity. And what that really means is that our students are able to consider and contextualize themselves within the field of engineering without just focusing on one specific discipline, but they learn how to think and behave like an engineer. It's really a, a unique opportunity, a unique partnership, and I'd love to see more schools across the country with a relationship like ours. I think that we really have to approach STEM education from a new point of view and we have to really encourage and excite and engage students in their learning. They have to understand why they need to learn what they're learning in the classroom so that they're able to master that content and really see how it's going to impact them in the future. We are really seeing a difference in the number of students and the preparation of those students for pursuing STEM majors and careers. This is really important for solving all of the major challenges that our society faces today. When I was a K-12 student, I got the opportunity to get exposed to STEM early, and because of that, it sparked a lifelong passion for STEM. The thing that caught my attention here at the Herf College of Engineering was the supportive staff, um, the opportunities to learn about m much more than just my focus area in electrical engineering, but also about the different disciplines and how they impact the world. The thing that excites me the most about my work that I do now is just uh, seeing that students learn that they have potential um, not only in STEM but in other areas of their life and also help them instill confidence in themselves. I'd say that being here as a student at the Herb College of Engineering has truly blessed me beyond my own imagination, to be honest. We have a lot that goes on right now and it's having a huge impact. But there is so much more that we are capable of and that we are moving toward. It's really exciting to imagine where the college is really headed uh, in its research as it grows and balloons and the, the much broader impact that we're going to have beyond what we have right now. I am very excited about the young generation coming out of our Health College of Engineering. Each of those individuals represent families and families and generations to come. Just looking at what they can do, just looking at the, what they will do, man, it's intriguing, it's exciting, it's phenomenal because we know that with this generation of people who like to do things, who speak their minds, who are go-getters, we know that great things are coming. The future is bright and the future is health.